This is the naked truth about real estate investing. Your host, Javier, has already been through all the brain damage of this business, so you don't have to go through it. That way, you're not exposed to all of the risk of losing your shirt or getting caught with your pants down. So let's dive into another no BS episode right now. This is Javier Hinojo with The Naked Truth. I want to talk about the first flip that I ever did. Uh, I sold it to an uh, adult film actress, eh, aka porn star. Let's call it what it is. Um, so it was our first flip, and I didn't really know anything about, about real estate. Uh, it was a house here in North Carolina. It was about $300,000 house, three twenty dollars something like that, low 300s. But for the area, it was a, it was a, good, per, it was a good, uh, good price, so we knew we were going we to sell it. Let me tell you how we got it. We were taking, uh, my partner and I were taking a course, you know, through the Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It was like the beginning course. Uh, I think they called it Momentum. And uh, not even halfway through our online class, we saw this property uh, value um, or just uh, on the MLS actually dropped by 20K. You know, like the, the, the seller dropped the price. And that was the third price drop. You know, it was multiple price drops. And so we're like, hey, let's go ahead and get it. Let's offer like another 30K less, right? So we came in even lower and then we agreed on the price. I don't remember the number, but I'm, I'm assuming it was like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 even less. So we got around two hundred and fifteen, two hundred twenty. dollars That was our purchase price. And we had about a forty dollars to $50,000 rehab. Actually, it was $35,000. And it just kept creeping up, right? It's always going to take longer. It's going to cost more at the beginning, right? If you don't have the experience. So, um, you know, we rehabbed it, took us more money, took us twice as long. We're probably going to spend about 50, 55. And, uh, you know, even trying to buy it, right? We didn't really know like what a HUD was, how much the closing costs were going to be, where do we get insurance from? When do we get insurance? When did start title search with the attorney or, or um, uh, title company? So, it was, you know, just going through the flow, right? Every single line item of the HUD had no idea. Prorated taxes. I mean, you know, forgot to change the utilities when we bought it, go to, go to the contract, went to go work and, you know, we didn't have any utilities on. I mean, it was, anyways, total mess. But, um, you know, I, I, when I met the, uh, the buyers, uh, it was this young lady. She was probably in her mid-20s and uh, she's very pretty, you know, just blonde, short hair. And then I met her husband. I'm like, man, you know, a uh, little short, chubby Asian guy. And I'm like, man, he's not very good looking. You know, I'm like, it must not be his money because it's only $300,000. He must be a really nice guy, you know? So I'm like, yeah, that's good for him, you know? Good for him. Anyway, so um, the day of closing, uh, we get a call because uh, we took the fridge. I mean, I didn't know, right? On the contract, it said, uh, on the purchase contract, it said uh, refrigerator to convey. I'm like, well, what, what the hell does convey mean? You know, does that mean like convoy? I mean, I got to convoy the fridge out of here. So I, I convoyed the fridge out, right? I took it with me and, um, you know, get a call back from the agent saying, hey, you took a refrigerator, take it back. I'm like, oh, all right. I didn't know. So there we go. I'm going with my, at that time, it was my 19-year-old, my, uh, my Russian boy, Ivan. And uh, so I'm with my, with my son. We're taking the fridge back. And you know, he's connecting it. And uh, she was talking to a carpet uh, company or installer. And he walks away, he leaves, and she grabs out a cigarette right in the kitchen, turns it on. And uh, she's like, man, $5,000 to change the carpet downstairs. It was brand new carpet, but she didn't like the color. And I'm like, yeah, it seems a little bit, little bit high. And then she, you know, took a you know, puff of her cigarette, I guess. I don't know. I don't smoke. And uh, she looks at me and she says, that's a lot of dick I have to suck. And I'm like, What? Like my eyes opened up and I see my Russian boy in the back. He's he's like double take, like look twice. His English is good, but you know, it's not his first language. So he like did a double take. And uh, he he like, did he hear that right? Like like, he lost, he saw my face. So he knew that he heard what he heard. Anyways, the good thing is that she kept talking. So I didn't have to really respond to that. And uh, I always have a good response for something that I don't know. Like if somebody says, Hey, I won the lottery. Oh, that's great. Um, you know, like in sales, right? You want to build rapport 
and you want people to feel comfortable with you. So you're like, oh yeah, that's great. Uh, we deal with that situation quite often. Or like, oh, my dog got ran over, so I'm selling my house, right? You say, oh, you know, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, you know, we deal with situations where of loss, you know, quite often, right? Or whatever it is, right? You want to build rapport and, and empathy, compassion, good or bad. That was the only time I couldn't say, you know, I, I couldn't use that, that line. Like, oh, happens to me quite often. Like, no, no, that's not, that's not, you know, that's not, it, it was the only time I've not been able to use it. Anyways, but after she stopped talking, you know, the only thing I come up with was like, hmm, I need to raise money. Maybe she got money. So I'm talking to myself. I'm like, hey, so what do you guys do for your retirement? You know, I was, I was trying to see if I can raise some money. Uh, going back, uh, I would probably uh, would have said something different. I don't know what I would have said, but it was, it was a very interesting experience. Uh, then before we left, my 19 year old was like, dad, dad, can I, can I get a selfie? I'm like, hell no, you can't get a selfie. Are you kidding me? Mom's going to kill us, you know? She'll kill you, then she'll kill me. So that is my story of my first, very first flip, uh, that how I sold it to a, to a porn star. Oh, and we did, we make some money. I think we made like 17, 20K, something like that. So it wasn't a lot, but it was our first flip. And uh, that got us rolling. And that is my story. That, that is definitely the, the naked truth. For sure. You're invited to leave an honest written review and share this episode with a friend. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode.